So I'm excited to catch up with you about the work MFA is doing. But before we get into it, just give me a high level overview of the organization, what the goal is. So happy to catch up again. Um, since the last time we spoke, we actually rebranded the MFA to the Alliance of Private Networks. And the goal here is to provide a hub and a resource for enterprises interested in deploying uh, private networks, and we want to provide the tools to simplify that effort. So for an enterprise buyer, take me through why cellular is maybe a better solution as they start to invest in a technology-enabled digital transformation. Exactly, so what we're trying to highlight here is the benefits and the key KPIs that um, private uh, cellular networks provide. These are coverage, latency, reliability, and security. And so you mentioned uh, this notion of a resource hub. Tell me a little bit about more what MFA is offering and how our audience can learn more. Well, part of our rebranding, we overhauled our whole website and it's externally facing with a lot of the resources that's available. Some of the highlighted resources I want to point you to is our network identifier program, which is a global unique PLM and ID assigned to the alliance, which is very critical to deploying private networks. We also have a spectrum map, uh, which highlights per country the spectrum available to deploy private networks. And lastly, we have our monthly MF, MFA Insights newsletter that provide a lot of the data that we collect from uh, private network tracking database. So it really is a bright outlook for private network investment. I know MFA is going to be a key part of that. Yeah, the call to action here is really to connect to our website, mfa-tech.org. You have all the resources we spoke about available for you to download and get in touch with us. Excellent. Thank you so much for speaking with me here at the Congress. Thank you. Likewise. Thank you.